Greetings friends, my name is John Gabriel and this is a new Calculus channel. And today I'd like to talk with you about my stance toward mainstream academia and uh, just clear up a few things about what I think of science, mainstream academics, and generally academia. Now, it might, I might have given off the impression that I'm against science or against the mainstream simply because I want to be, but that's not the case. Um, in my personal opinion, I would like only to help others to learn how to think for themselves. And, and when I say that, uh, obviously what I'm talking about is the ability to make an informed decision on anything you read, anything you hear, anything you see, anything that requires thought. Because uh, nobody else can really think for you. And if you allow them to, then honestly, uh, you're setting yourself up for uh, calamity because the majority are not always right. Okay. Now, um, am I against mainstream because they have basically excommunicated me from their community? No, that's not the case. When I point out things that are wrong in the mainstream, especially in mainstream mathematics, I do so because I want others to think about these things. In other words, I want uh, people to be able to make a decision based on the evidence, the facts, and what's presented. So at any given time, you cannot <laughs> you cannot rely on reliable information there is no such thing as reliable information you have to <clears throat> be able to discern what is uh, sensible and what is not and in most cases people are not able to do this and why are they not able to do this uh, there are several reasons one of the reasons is uh, the way they've been reared Okay, and their belief systems while, you know, growing up, while becoming a teenager, while becoming an adult, uh, the society in which they live, their families, all those things contribute to the way a person thinks and makes decisions. Now, one has to, one has to take into consideration what the mainstream says, because uh, that is the logical and the right thing to do. If someone uh, has been working on a certain uh, type of research or a certain kind of uh, science, then obviously it is worthwhile to hear what such an individual says. And the problem today is that if you're not a part of that community, they won't even look at what you have to say. They won't even look at your ideas. They will simply brush it aside and call you a crank. To me, that's not only unjust, it's not only unfair, it's not only wrong in every sense of the word. It's evil. And I don't use the word evil lightly because evil can be interpreted in many different ways. Uh, so, I'm not against the mainstream. I am against the wrong ideas in the mainstream. And is there a chance that I could be wrong? Well, with respect to mathematics, I very much doubt it because nobody has ever been able to prove me wrong. They've been able to call me all sorts of names, you know, also uh, use all sorts of platitudes, uh, but nobody's ever proved me wrong. So in order for me to change my mind, 
somebody would have to prove me wrong and don't please don't go posting garbage on my channel i'm not interested in your stupid ideas what i'm telling you is i've thought about all these things i'm almost 60 years old and i'd say that out of my 60 years i probably spent more than 70 percent doing nothing else but thinking so i think a lot okay i have an extremely high iq i know what i'm talking about and I want to make this world a better place. So you can either join me or fight against me, in which case you're not only harming yourselves, but you're harming your future children and grandchildren who'll have a good laugh at you when they, they find out one day that you've been so wrong all the time. And you'll be on the wrong side of history. And I don't think that that is what you want to be. Is it? Well, uh, I think I've rambled on quite a bit and I'm going to stop this talk here. I might, at some or other stage in the future, talk a little bit more about uh, the, philosophy, the philosophy of people and their mindset when it comes to science and academics. And of course, mine is completely the, you know, the opposite of what most people think. I, I have actually studied mainstream uh, ideas and science and mathematics too. I've, I, I started off, uh, all my knowledge was uh, mainstream in every sense of the word. I read, I learned Newton's calculus and Leibniz's calculus when I was age 13. Okay, so, and yes, I, I thought, well, hmm. At that time, I didn't have a better way of finding the derivative. But I, knew, I realized much later on that your normal limit definition is horribly flawed in so many different ways. And so is a lot of your calculus, even the definite integral, and a lot of mainstream mathematics. And so my goal is to get you to think about these things and to decide for yourselves whether there is any truth to the same. My name is John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye, friends.